Tomorrow is Zach's birthday. We came to California to celebrate his birthday. So we're here for a couple days. It was a super early morning, hence the half done makeup. <laughs> uh, and so now we're just kind of like killing time because our hotel isn't ready. And then we just ate at the stand, which actually was like pretty good. I it was had, pretty good, yeah. Yeah, what'd you think of your burger? It was, it was good. I had a burger and fries. The fries were, they were average. They weren't bad, but nothing I would like rate about and the burger was yeah same with my salad i had the Your salad quinoa. looked really good it looked really good i think and it had a lot of flavor actually it was a good salad it was a good salad i would come back if i lived here i wouldn't if i was visiting i wouldn't go out of my way to come here yeah but if i lived here i could see here going here every once in a while yeah me too but we'll show you guys where we're eating where we're staying what we're doing i think we're gonna go to an antique shop right now just because we do have some time actually no i need a starbucks I got four hours of sleep. You got maybe five hours of sleep last night. We ended up booking through Costco mm -hmm. instead of driving. So we were going to drive originally. And then the hotel I wanted to stay at, which I'm sure you'll show. Yeah. We wanted to stay at a little night. We usually just stay at whatever value or budget hotel because that's not important to us. Yeah. And we're always like, we're not really in the room as long as it's safe. Yeah. Or decent. Not and sketch. And clean. Yeah. But this time we're like, let's stay like somewhere not five star but somewhere nicer yeah so i looked it up we we're just gonna drive but by the time if i booked it through costco it was basically a couple hundred more dollars to get the flight and a rental car here and flying like okay we did wake up super early which we would have anyway i think this is kind of is this like six hours away driving yeah, i think so really the only time that's different because we still would have got up got ready we still we packed this morning so we probably would have done easy that anyway. packers though. Yeah, we, we packed are in five minutes. always carry on. I keep my outfits very neutral, especially when I'm traveling because you can pair everything with everything. But the only difference would have been parking the car at the airport and going through security and wait, obviously waiting to board. Yeah, basically instead of a six and a half hour drive, we basically spent three hours between driving getting to the airport and the flight it was three hours we, but you're doing stuff so it doesn't feel like you know driving for six six and a half hours you're gonna stop for gas you're gonna stop for food it takes true it feels like a while we are killing time here though so we would have maybe left later knowing that we yeah. couldn't check into our hotel but at least we get a like we've already driven the area we went to trader joe's yeah. we went to marshall's we went to goodwill we went and we had saw lunch. a couple things it's not about two there's stuff to do. I was telling Brandy, eating, you kind of want to go to the hotel just to like drop off your stuff and almost like It's like refresh. getting to your gate. You know, like once you get through security, I'm not someone who like wants to go get food right away. I need to get to the gate. Once I'm at the gate and I know that they haven't left me, then I'm good. Yeah. I think that's the same way for me here. Not that they're leaving, but like I want to get to my room, refresh, set my things out, like kind of get, know where I'm staying, know where I need to drive to. But we drove by, we've been to, what's the mission called? It's called San Juan Capistrano, which I think is this whole little area. It's yeah. an old mission. I think we're going to go there because we think we have free yeah, tickets. Yeah, I think with Costco, with the they Costco. give you like some, there's like five things they give you. They oil or olive oil tastings, tickets to this mission mission which so we, i didn't realize how close it was literally they're like next door to each other the, yeah. this hotel mission and then the actual mission side note if you have a costco membership they're the costco travel bundles i think are really good yeah usually they're the best price i think i think they're convenient too because they bundle it all together mm -hmm. and they transfer and yeah. if you need to change anything i even do it for rental cars so cute here Oh, this is going to be a good one. Oh, this is going to be fun. I love these kind of antique stores. Silver. Okay, I love these little handkerchiefs. These are really cute. I love these. 
This one's really, really pretty. Also, the silver. Like so many beautiful pieces in here. Like, look at those salt and pepper shakers. Right there. And the mother of pearl. This terracotta pot. I wish I could be taking this home, but I don't have any room. Also, this little crackle bowl. That's so pretty. And I love these apothecary jars as well. These are absolutely beautiful. Ooh, this mint julep cup. That's really pretty. Yeah, this one has some little treasures in here that are my vibe. Gingham napkins. Ooh, that ice bucket back there is really pretty too. I love that, that's really pretty. I wonder what this is, tablecloth. Okay, I found these, so it's a set of six. They're tiny, but they're so sweet. So it looks like maybe they used to put their butter on these. Oh my gosh, I love these. Like, are you kidding me? These would be so perfect to put your little rings on or your jewelry on on the side of a bed. Even these, they have a set of nine right here. This is really cute too. Oh, I love those. I love those. This blue and white is gorgeous as well. Look at that artwork back there. That's really pretty sketch work. Okay, I found a spoon that has a bee on it. I might need those. <laughs> but I found all kinds of silver. I love to look through the silver. Sorry, we're on some wood floors, so they're really squeaky, but I love to look through the silver to see if there's any special pieces that we might need. I just wish that we did life like this more, you know? Like had really nice things. Well, I guess that's why we're here. That's why we're at the antique store. This mirror is so pretty. It's $2.95. It, it seems like it could almost be done either way. So you could flip it around and put it the other way as well. But there's also such beautiful artwork in this booth. I love it. Like this piece right here with the frame. So pretty. That one's $90. This one here is really pretty too for $95. Just gorgeous old stuff. Ooh, here's another Notre Dame. It's really pretty. They have lots of like copper and all kinds of stuff in here. Blue, uh, blue and white dishes. This is one you have to kind of take in because there's a lot. Ooh, those alabaster lamps are really pretty. Oh man, $95. That seems like a really good deal compared to what I've seen them for. Oh my gosh, especially that one on the right, all the way to the right. Look how beautiful that is. This one. I want it. Oh no. This is painful. We just got into our room, so I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a room tour. I actually really love the vibe because it's kind of based off of like the old mission, which like we said, we'll take you guys there. We're gonna go. It is right off of the freeway though, so that's another. We're giving you honest review. Yeah, we're giving our honest review. I wish there was a balcony. The lobby and so far, love. And they have a signature scent that you smell right away, yeah. which I always love. The room is nice. It's as nice as any room we probably stayed in, but it is, it's pretty generic. Yeah. I'm not blown away by anything, but it's yeah. nice. I no, wish there was a balcony. Yes, I know, the balcony. But let me show you guys, like, this is how everything looks. And here is the bathroom. So you have a toilet room, and then you have your vanity, and then you have your shower. Which I actually like that they are, they base the vibe off of the architecture of the mission. Like I think that's, I mean we are right next door, but it is really pretty. Anyway, this is our room.
We are just walking down in the little area right by the mission and just checking it out. We're going to actually an old historic home area. But like you guys, look at how cute it is down here. So cute. This is so cute. This is so cute. The train coming? A little train station. One thing Zach and I said, we want to do the things that maybe don't always seem like, I don't know, like the fun things. We're usually like sit by the pool kind of people. So we're checking out this little area. You guys, it is so cute. Let me show you. It says it's the oldest continually operated or lived in neighborhood, neighborhood. in the state of California. It's so cool. Yeah, and it's just adorable. Like they have like little shops too and all of the greenery with the agave and the banana plants and the oh, it's just so sweet and there's so many restaurants this is so cute a little tea house oh my gosh look at the tile that's so cute with these plants and then the stucco and the black windows with the tile they really made this so cute. All right, birthday boy wants to go to Sidecar Donuts. <laughs> We're doing whatever he wants to do today. It's so gloomy. I it's know. Okay. It's, it's we nicer left in Arizona. <laughs> yeah, we left perfect weather. But it does burn off. Yeah. Anyway, we came here the first time we visited years ago. Yeah. Loved it. We went to another location. It wasn't as good. I think that's because it was later in the day. Yeah, yeah, but we like the Costa Mesa. Yum. Let's go. We get a birthday one for your birthday? Yeah. That and a maple bacon. Okay. All right, birthday boy, show us what you got. We got a ice caramel latte, right? Yeah, ice caramel latte. Is it good? How does it taste oh. compared to Coffee Rush? It's like a, it's salty caramel. Really? It tastes like salted caramel. Oh. Can we try these right now or no? Yeah, I want to see what you got. Oh, we got it. Had to do a birthday cake. Birthday cake one, which we rarely get, but you love sprinkles. Yeah, I do. I love sprinkles. And then sprinkles. the maple bacon, only because half, because you said it yesterday. You said it yesterday, how, remember? Yeah, you were talking I about did. Sweet salty, you're like, you love that. Wait, you got that because I said that? It's your no, birthday. No, it sounded good, too. Oh, okay, good. We usually, I remember when they were popular, like, five, ten years ago, but we never get them, but it sounded yeah. kind of good. All right, that's what we got. And then we had a sample of their huckleberry. So good. Yeah. Do you want to try it? The coffee? Yeah. Let me try it. I want to see. It's a little chilly. A little bit. Um, Studio McGee used to be, her store used to be right here, but it's not here anymore. And before, when we came last time, I wasn't like doing home decor, so I, we didn't end up going in there. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, Doesn't it good. taste like salted? Mm -hmm. mm. That's good. It's not the warmest day. No, it's a little chilly. This is so cute though. We are at a place called Whip. It's so cute in here. And Zach's friend recommended to get a lavender latte with the salted foam. And she's the one that told us about sidecar donuts, which we love. So we have high hopes. <laughs> Is it good? More foam. 
in state. I would come back for that. Really? Yes, it's good. I so far her recommendations have been really good. You love it? Yes, it's awesome. Let me try it. Let me try it. The foam looks thick. I feel like you that get the salted sweet. caramel, yeah. you get the lavender. It's, not, it's not overly sweet, but it's still yeah, good. This is good. I would recommend this place, definitely. Highly recommend. It's called Whip. Yeah, it's like, and it's really cool because we just went to a couple breweries. We actually revisited a couple of the breweries that we've been to before. We'll, we'll walk We'll put it there. in. It's called Salty Bear. One yes. of my favorite, it's a good vibe, it's, it's just really, beer. Yes, so we went back, it's Zach's birthday today, so we were like, let's go to a couple breweries, he loves beer. And then his friend was like, oh, I recommend this coffee shop. And Zach said, hey, let me look, maybe we'll go, to the, go there tomorrow. He looked and he's like, oh, it's a three minute walk, let's go after this. And we walk out, it's literally in the same parking lot. Yeah, like it wasn't right three minutes, it, no, was, it was like 30 seconds. It was 30 feet, yeah. Yeah, it was crazy, but. Yeah, this is really good. Highly recommend if you are in Costa Mesa. What did we, what was that one called? It was a lavender, lavender latte. Lavender salted foam. Or salt, caramel salt foam. I think this is one of the better coffees I've had. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Recently. That's good. It's really good. Okay, this is Whip right here and we were literally right across the street. Right there at salty bear i'll give you guys a little preview when we walk by it's so cute it's like in this little just driveway and it has like a bunch of little stuff in here but we found this randomly the last time we were in costa mesa and we really had a wonderful time there's a place right here it's called the camp in costa mesa they have food the dessert they have a wine bar they some have shopping shopping they have a taco place we went to lunch we went to like a little Ita was it italian we went to an italian place but this was like four or five years ago yeah but then right here they have Salty Bear, which I recommend this brewery. It's just kind of vibey and the beer's good. Yeah. And then they very have, aesthetic too. For a brewery, yes. it's like the most aesthetic brewery I've ever been to that's not like industrial. Yeah. Um, but they have three breweries like within a minute walking distance. So if you want to do a little beer tour, and then that coffee shop is literally right here. Which, yeah. If I was in the area, I would definitely come yes. to this little mecca. Yeah, let me show you guys. So this spot right here, it's cool because it has indoor and outdoor, but as you can see in there, it's not like your typical like brewery vibes. Like it's definitely very aesthetic for a brewery. And then they have like the little outside seating. Actually, they're all pretty aesthetic for breweries around here. Yeah, the... And like it has the well, little... The name of them, this is Salty Bear. There was Green Creek, was one of them, which is funny. We came here like five years ago to do a photo shoot and we ended up at this brewery and it was okay. So then we walked to the Salty Bear and it was awesome. Yeah. So we're like, cool, this is such a vibe. And then, so now that visiting, we came to the Salty Bear. It's like, hey, let's go check out that old brewery. It closed down like right after we went yeah. there. That's probably why it's And it okay. like has a new spot. It yeah. was really cool. We asked him, I was like, did this brewery used to be a different name? He's like, no, but there was another brewery in here. Yeah. And he said the name was like, oh, we were here like five years ago and yeah. that was the brewery. Yeah, and then we went to another one too and that but was But it's called cool. Green Creek now. They ha they actually have food and a full menu. It was cool. And then I think that's called, we'll put it on the menu. I think it was called it was gu like gun Gunslinger or Gun Show. Something like that. We'll gun put it on the screen. We'll. But yeah. literally they're all three. They're within... Not you could park there within a minute walk. I would have taken some footage, but I didn't think we were gonna film. But just like we had to, so cute. You ready? Go get some dinner. <laughs> I would say we were good together.